but you can't ask for a better coach out of Jose. She, I owe a lot of my success to her. She set me up really with really good fundamental skills. And um, all I can say really is that uh, hard work and, you know, the hard work that you put on the hill is what counts. You know, if, you know, you want to take an extra run at the end of the day or, you know, just be a really good listener and really listen to what Jose has to say to you because... And other coaches. Yeah, she... <laughs> it's not bogus. They know what they're talking about. And, um, you know, I just owe so much of my success to you. And... Um, Have you ever reached a point where you thought, oh my gosh, this is so hard? Oh yeah, absolutely. More often than not, actually. Um, and what do you do? You... You really... So... When you fail in skiing, it's really hard to, you know, get back up and keep going. Um, but you have to know that from all of the fa failures you'll have, you you can get you can have success from those failures, and you just have to, you know, keep believing in yourself. Don't don't give up on yourself, and don't give up on your dreams and who you want to become as a skier or as a person or anything. Just, you know, really really stay, really follow your dreams and. Don't give up. It gets really hard. The older you get, the harder it gets. I'm just going to say that. It's true. It's really true. Um, but the older you get, you also become smarter, and you know how to handle the challenges more, and you you know you just you don't give up. You just you don't give up. That's, that's it. And can you guys have any questions for me? Because I would love to answer some questions. Any of you have any? Yes, no? How fast are you skiing? How fast? Like miles per hour fast? Sure. Um, I think one day I was clogged going 83 miles an hour. Oh. Did you hear that? Yeah, but I mean it kind of, it mostly stays in the range of, you know, 40 to 60. Still pretty fast, really fun. Now, did you just come back from the U.S. National? Uh, yeah, the U.S. National. How'd it go? I had my career best result there, and what'd you get? I got fourth place overall. It was a really exciting day for me because I had started Bib 32nd, and um, the whole entire season I had been really trying to set realistic goals so I could feel successful, you know, and not be too hard on myself. And so when I started 32nd, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to strive to get top 15. You know, I finished 30th year last year, and I really just want to improve this year and get a top 15 result. And then I, after the first round, I come down in 10th place. I'm like, oh, this is a lot better than I expected. Like, <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> and so then at that point, I'm like, okay, set new goal, you know, top five. Let's go for top five. And, you know, it just all the pieces fell together, and... It was just, it was a great day, and a lot of things to build off of that day. That that day kind of proved to me that all the hard work I had put into the beginning of the season and throughout the season and the year before that, it really pays off, even if it's just for, you know, 15 minutes of glory. It, it really pays off, in, you know, inside of you, and it's, it's really quite a thrill. <laughs> Did you win the second round going to the pencil? Um, I got... Second on the second run by two hundredths of a second. So, yeah. 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 Who are your biggest two fans and the biggest supporter? My biggest support supporters. Parents. <laughs> <laughs> Always the parents. Parents go first. They, you know, parents. They, without them, I would not be able to get to where I am now. They've just always believed in me, and they've always given me the tools I need to really do my best in this sport, and I thank you so much for that. <laughs> Early lows, did they ever have to, uh, like, kick you out of bed? And, uh, <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> You have no idea. Um, yeah, that was that's the hardest part about skiing is waking up early, and um, yeah, I definitely had to get kicked out of bed a lot of the time. Was it worth it? It was absolutely worth it. Um, just because, first of all, it you know puts you into a tougher mindset, and you can handle tougher conditions better. Just waking up earlier and you know being on the hill and skiing with that harder snow, and you know it's it's it, it definitely it's it's really you know it's good and. Um, it, uh, let's see, uh, what I, I wanted to add something else.
else to that? Was it worth it? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> just. Is there a any days that you would get up and go, like, oh, I'm not doing uh -huh. this today? Yeah. And then did you get up and yeah, still you, do it? Yeah, you, you kind of just kick yourself, you know, and, and you just tell yourself, I'm, I'm working on becoming the best in the world or the best I can be to my abilities. And in order to do that, I need to push myself. And waking up early and pushing myself, even though everything against, you know, my mind is saying, no, you just, you just want to sleep in. Like, you don't want to go out and ski right now at 7 in the morning. That's insane. Um, but, it, you know, you just, you just have to kind of dig deep and know that it's for a bigger purpose. Like, you'll, you'll get a big reward if you keep doing all the nitty-gritty stuff that seems so impossible at the time. What's your next goal? My next goal? Um, I, for next season, I want to place top 10 in, at World Juniors. Um, which are in Canada? They're going to be, I was going to oh, say, yeah. <laughs> they're going to be in Eastern Canada, which is A's from. So that's um, next year's biggest goal. And I mean, Sochi Olympics are coming up in 2014, and anything's possible. That would be quite, quite well, a goal. You know that the people here are all behind you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. You guys are my biggest support system. Diamond Peak and everybody here, always. Incline Village, just everyone supports me here. I love it. It's great to have when you're on the road and all alone, and then you think about how many people you inspire at home, and that also fuels you to keep going to accomplish all those goals. We are shining representative. Thank you. <laughs>